Okay, I'm going to do a turning that I've been thinking about for quite some time. And it's a, a multi-axis setup, and it's referred to as a Saturn bowl. And I picked a piece of sweet gum from the tree we had cut down over a year ago because I wanted pretty much the same color throughout. Well, this has sat under a tarp for most of that time, and it managed to get spalted in places, and it got damp on the end. There's some spalting here. I've got a hole for the worm screw. Let's get it mounted up and see what we can get out of here. Okay, I've got the tail stock up against it. I don't think I said, but it's about 8 inches and it's about 5 inches here. And it's more than I need both directions, but that's fine because we can turn it down. Get my face shield on and I think we're going to get around 700 RPMs. Maybe not. <laughs> we'll go with 650 until it's round. So now I'm going to start by removing some of this stock and get down to about the middle. Yeah, that's actually pretty interesting with that spalting. Let's see where we're at here. Yeah, it's four and three quarters, and I'm thinking whatever I do, I need about half of it that way. sketch and then make up some templates. Okay, time to put a radius on here. I'll use the same template that goes this way and that way. I could freehand this and probably get it plenty close enough, but if I can use math to do this, I will. I've calculated out that it's 1.17 this way and that way. I'll put a line on here like that, and I can't see that, but that's right, right about there. Now, if I cut a 45 on this, it'll almost be there, and of course that nub's going away. And this template's made an eighth inch shy to make up for the ring that I'm going to have in the center. So let's cut that between those two lines. And we'll do the next step. Much all of that should go away there. Just round the rest of this freehand. There we go. All right, that's close enough. So I'm going to go ahead and sand this up. I have to make a uh, chuck for it to hold it, a little jam chuck. Let me get set up and sand this.
Okay, that's all I need to sand there because we'll have to come back and put a flat spot here. Okay, I've got a scrap of black locust here and I cut the inside out to make a semi-jam chuck with it. Okay, so this is what I've been doing. I've got these little wedges and I'm just getting some hot glue on both sides. And just push them down in there like that. Make sure I have a nice mark here. And we'll start cutting that away and make a dome on this side. Let's use the half inch. I think that's pretty good. So, let's see where we're at here for height. So that's that. I need to take that much off and there will be probably a lot more coming off of that. But for now, let's make it the same size. Okay, right about there. So, small change in what I'm doing. I decided that when I hollow the inside of this out, I don't want to be able to measure that wall. So I've glued a tenon on here and we'll get it in the chuck. In order for this to work, I will need to hot glue another tenon on. Just a slight change of plans here. I took a tenon that I had laying around and I cupped it out and I've hot glued it onto the bottom of this. I want to turn it around now, round that shape and hopefully it'll hold together so I can hollow it out. See how it runs. Not too bad. I'll leave this on for a while while I start rounding this out. But I do want to get my marks on here to start it. And it was 1.17 to cut my 45. All right. I've decided to go ahead and drill part of this out.
See, these shavings are they're dry on the inside. It's just the outside of this that's wet. All right, it's time to hollow it out. And I'll use these two different tools here. It's a medium-sized round cutter and then the smaller one. And whichever one works the best is what I'll use. I'll do a little bit of this, but you're not going to see much. So when I'm all finished, we'll come back and we'll get it set up to cut the angle on the top. I have it all hollowed out and sanded up and I just poured a little acetone on this hot glue and put a little bit more on it and that generally will help it release. Between that and alcohol I've had decent luck. Yeah that's that's loose from the first pour so that worked actually worked quite well and that daub there so it came off quite easily I don't remember who did that I think it was Gord Rock was putting that on there and it works okay now I need to set it up again okay I thought about this for a while and instead of mounting it into the jam chuck and rotating it. I'm just going to leave that tenon with a cup in it. And I'll put, put it in here. Just use this dowel temporarily to hold it if I get the right rotation. And we'll hot glue this in place. So now we have a little bit of a twist here. Got a line I put on here and it'll come around to there. So that's where I want it, right there. Hot glue gun is ready. Time to cut this top section. You can see that wobble it's got in it. Hot glue is on there. Been sitting for quite a while. I'm going to go ahead and leave that dowel for just a little bit of support for me. Got my half inch bowl gouge, and we're just going to slowly cut this away. Okay, I think uh, I think that's good. I'm gonna do a little hand sanding on it, and we'll pop this hot glued tenon off, and then I got to put a flat spot on the bottom. Okay, that uh, hot glued on tenon came right off with a little acetone. I was gonna make a wooden jam chuck to put this on, so I could flatten it off parallel to the top of this. And I thought, well, can I expand the jaws into it? No, I'd have to get a bigger set, which I have. But I just looked at the outer rim of this, and it just popped right on. I'll put just a small amount of pressure on it. Now I'm just going to turn a small flat spot here, give it a place to sit. Make sure nothing hits. At this point in time, we don't need that. I just cut a little bit off of there with my half inch bull gouge.
Okay, that's it. I'm going to get some finish on it. It's either going to be walnut oil or maybe Danish oil. Okay, I've decided to use Danish oil. I'll just rub a few coats in. Not sure how long it'll take to dry in the cold weather, but we have time. I think that goes good with the spalting. I put some on this side and look the same. So they're pretty well coated now. And uh, as soon as this dries, we'll get another one or two coats on. And there's no tannin to take off, so when we're done with that, I'll be back and show you what we have. Well, here it is. My first attempt at a Saturn bowl. And it was a lot of fun to do. It's going to sit just like this because of how I flattened the bottom off. It's made out of a piece of sweet gum from a tree we had cut down over a year ago. And it was stored under a tarp is the only reason I can figure out that it's spalted. And a number of pieces I pulled out of there are spalted. And I think it makes for an interesting Saturn bowl. Seven inches in diameter. This is about a four inch diameter and it's I think about three inches tall as it sits. Not counting this, it'll stick up a little higher there. I sanded it up and I finished with Danish oil. I wiped on about three coats and I think that's all I'm going to do to it. A lot of fun to do and fairly easy because it might be a multi-axis turning but the only reason you have that is to make this flat and make the bottom flat. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment, I read them all. Hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have a new one out. It would also be great if you could share my videos around. Thanks to all of you who are subscribed to my channel. It means a lot to me. If you're not subscribed, consider doing so. I do many types of turnings, from segmented work to natural turnings from pieces of trees. And I put out videos weekly. Thanks again. Until the next time, see you later.